All right, so here's a follow-up to the problem that we just did. Um, we used implicit differentiation to come up with this expression, which gives us the value of y prime at any point on the curve, which is defined by this equation. Right? Now, suppose we did want to find the equation of a tangent line, right? Find the slope of the tangent at that curve at some point. Well, first thing is you need a point on the curve, right? And it's not as easy as it is in the situation when you just have y equals f of x, because in this situation, you just plug in an x value, you solve for y, and, and you're done, right? You just compute the function, and you've got y. Um, here, you have to kind of, you know, sometimes be a little bit clever. You have to look at it and kind of think, can I actually come up with a value that works? And here we, we make the observation that if you put y equal to 0, the left-hand side is 0, and then we can solve for x, we get x is the cube root of 6. So this is indeed a point on the curve, right? And this is something that you should always check if you're doing implicit differentiation and somebody asks you to find the equation of a tangent line at some point. Step number one, make sure the point's on the curve. If it's not, then, then the problem is invalid and you probably shouldn't do it, right? But indeed, in this case, we do have a solution, right? Because if x is the cube root of 6, the right-hand side evaluates to 0. If y is equal to 0, the left-hand side evaluates to 0. 0 equals 0. It satisfies the equation. Okay. So we have a point on the tangent line. We know to get the equation of a line, we need a point, but we also need a slope. All right. So how do we get the slope? So the slope is given by the value of y prime at this point, right? So this is x. This is y. So we simply put those values into our expression for y prime. Right, so that means that my slope is given by minus 3 times the cube root of 6 squared divided by cos of 0 plus 3 times 0 squared. Cos of 0 is 1, so the denominator is 1, and we simply have minus 3 times 6 to the power 2 over 3. And that's going to be our slope. Now we can write down the equation of our tangent line. So the tangent is given by y equals, well, the y-coordinate of our point, which is 0, so we don't bother to write it, minus 3 times 6 to the 2 thirds, our slope, times x minus the cube root of 6. Okay, And we can leave it like that. If you want to multiply the slope through, um, to simplify the constant term at least, um, or you can leave it like that. At this point, you've got the answer.